Hello everyone and welcome to lesson number five. This is one of my favorites. It's called Dance Party. I hope you're, you enjoy it. I'm already at the Scratch website, scratchmit.edu. I'm going to click Create because we're going to be creating a brand new game today. I'm going to get rid of the tutorial because I'm doing a tutorial today. I'm also going to get rid of the cat. So garbage can to the cat. Goodbye cat. And I'm going to get a new sprite today for our dance game. And some of the sprites that are available are good, some are not so good. For example, Amon is not a good dance character because when you when I hover my mouse pointer over Amon, nothing changes. That's the only picture of Amon. So he doesn't have a lot of dance moves. Look at Anina dance. When I hold my mouse pointer over Anina, she does lots of dance moves. And this is exactly what we're looking for. A real life human being with lots of dance moves. See, the ballerina doesn't work for our game today because, first of all, it's not real life. And second of all, she's only got three moves. Uh, Abby is also not a good dance move dancer because she doesn't have any real dance moves and she's not real life. Look, to find all the good dancers, you go to this button up here. Look, it says dance right there. Dance. I'm going to click on dance. So here are all the dance characters. And as, as I said, Amon doesn't work because he doesn't have any moves. You can see that he doesn't have any. LB Dance, she's got lots of moves. 1080 Dance, he's got lots of moves. Anina Dance, she's got lots of moves. And these are all under the dance file there, under sprites. Uh, don't choose a ballerina. Don't choose Cassie Dance. Champ 99 is great. D Money is great. Juvie Dance is great. I'm going to choose Champ 99. So I'm going to double click Champ. Perfect. So there's Champ right there. So now we're going to make a dance game today. So watch how I do that. And then you'll have your turn in a few minutes. So um, space key is pressed. I'm going to grab that and put it over here. I'm going to make it a little bit larger so we can see it. Uh, instead of space key, I'm going to use a letter A today. So when a letter A is pressed, I want him to do some dance moves. Watch how we do that. I'm going to go to the looks button. And you'll notice for champ, He's got lots of different moves. They're all under the costumes button. Look right there, costumes. So that's move A, B, C, D, E, F, and there's more, G right there. So he's got lots of great dance moves and they're all labeled, right? That's A, B, and so on. Each character's uh, dance moves are called something different. Champs happen to be called A, B, C, D. So I'm gonna go to the code. Now I'm going to go to the looks button and here's where it says switch costumes, switch costumes, costumes. Remember he has all these costumes right there. So switch costumes right there. So I want him to go to costume G I guess and then I'm going to have him switch to a different costume. So I'm going to put that there, costume, let's try F. So now we have two costumes, costume G and costume F. And I want him to go in between those two costumes or switch. 10 times so it looks like he's dancing. So when I press the letter A, um, Champ99 is going to switch between costume G and costume F 10 times over and over again. Ready? So green flag to start and I'm going to press the letter A. Here we go. He's not doing anything. Well, he is, but this is a computer and the computer is switching so fast between costume G and costume F that we can't even see it. So we have to slow the computer down a bit. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab wait one second right there. And I'm going to grab wait one second and put it right after this. So now when I press the letter A, he's going to go to costume G. Wait a second. Then costume F. Wait a second. Then repeat again. Costume G. Wait. F. Wait. And on and on. Ready? Green flag and letter A. All right. He's dancing, but it's too slow. I'm just going to stop him for a minute. I'm going to make this uh, not 1, but maybe 0 0.5. Let's try that. 0 0.5. Let's see if that works. Ready? Green flag, letter A. That's a bit better, but still a little bit too slow. It's going to stop, and I'm going to make it. Let's try, I don't know, 0 0.2 might be the magic number. 0 0.2. Ready? Green flag, letter A. Nice. He's doing his dance moves. Wonderful. So, students, now it's going to be your job. You're going to go to Scratch. You're going to press Create. You're going to get rid of the cat and the tutorial. 
and then you're going to go to sprites and choose a sprite and remember when you go to sprites you can find all the dance moves here dance characters right there so click on dance and you'll find them all and then when you've chosen a character perhaps champ 99 or one of the other good ones there then you're going to code it just like i did when the letter a is pressed 10 repeats go between two costumes i would just stick to two costumes please you'll see why later I chose G and F, you choose whichever ones you like for their costumes. So teachers, if you could pause now, and when the students seem to have caught up and you're ready to go, just hit play and I'll be waiting right here for you. All right, I hope you chose a good dance uh, dancer. And uh, you know, there's a little bit of a glitch in my game. You're probably gonna have the same glitch. Look what happens, I'm gonna press green flag and then letter A, and he does his dance moves. But when he's done, he's in this kind of an awkward pose there. That's not really a very comfortable pose, like he's waiting for the next dance move. I think there's a waiting pose, actually. I think all of them have something like that. So that's maybe not waiting, although I guess it would work. But this one, look, he's waiting for the next move. I like this one. This is letter B. You'll have to decide what works for you. So after he's done his dance moves, then he's going to go to costume B at the end. So after all these repeats, then switch to costume letter B. So then he's waiting. So green flag, letter A, he does his moves. And then he's waiting for the next move. Perfect. So you can find out which costume is the waiting pose or whatever works best and have him switch to that. And then we got to get a good background. You know, this is a dance game. It's supposed to be a nice background. There's a few different ones at work. You can choose whichever one you like. The one I like for this one is Spotlight. So I'm going to click Spotlight. And you'll see for spotlight, Champ is a little bit too big. So I gotta shrink him. He doesn't really fit in the spotlight there. So I'm gonna try maybe 60%. Perfect, and move him right on the stage like that. Fantastic. So, um, students, can you find a costume that's like a waiting pose that he can go to afterwards? And maybe then get a nice background that works for a dance game? And then shrink your dancer to the right size for your background. Teachers, if you want to pause now um, well, so that students can catch up, and then when you're ready, I'll be waiting right here. Okay, so I think my character is doing really well. I'm going to press green flag, letter A, and he does his dance moves. Wonderful. One problem, though. There's no music! What kind of dance game doesn't have music? We have to have some music. So let me show you how to put in music, and teachers, I apologize. It's going to get a little bit noisy this period. Students, if your computers are really loud, turn them down a bit. But of course, you're going to be listening to music, but maybe not blaring it. So here's how you get sound. I'm going to click the sounds button right there, sounds. Okay, then I'm going to go down here and choose a sound. See that? I'm going to choose a sound. And there's a lots of sounds in here, like this one. But they don't really work for a dance because that's not a that's not a song. It's just a note like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the loops buttons. You see that loops? That's where you find all the songs. There are musical loops. I'm going to click on loops. And now all of these songs are like five or six or seven seconds long. For example, this one. Or this one. Or this one. Or this one. Okay, hey, I like this one a lot. Oh, I like dance sitar, so I'm going to double click dance sitar. One, two, there we go. There it is right there, dance sitar. Now I'm going to go back to the code. So there's the code for my dancer. Now I'm going to put in music. I'm going to put in music right at the top. So when I press the letter A, the music starts playing, and then he does his dance moves. So I'm going to go to the sounds button. I don't think we've been there before. Sounds. And I'm going to play, start, grab, start sound, that one. Don't grab this one. That's not the right one. Because if you put this one in place, the music will play until it's done. And then he'll start dancing. So he doesn't dance to the music. This one's not the right one. What we want is start sound, sound. And then you can choose your song. I have dance sitar. So when I press the letter A, the music's going to start. He's going to do his 10 moves. And then he's going to go to his waiting pose. Ready? Green flag. And letter A. Almost perfect. There was one little glitch. Look, when he's done dancing, the music still plays. I don't like that. So look, I'm going to try again. Letter A. Watch. He's going to stop. He's going to I don't like 
don't like that. When he stops dancing, the music should stop. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to get this one, stop all sounds. So I'm going to put it right in there. So after he's done his 10 repeats, right? There's his, there's his dance moves right there. That's his dancing. Start sound, do his 10 repeats, then stop all the sounds, and then go to his waiting pose. So green flag, letter A. Perfect, wonderful. So in a moment, you're gonna get to go and add your own sounds, but let me show you one more time how to do that. Click on the sounds button right there, sound. Then you go down here, choose a sound. Then you're gonna go to loops. That's where the songs are, loops. And there's tons of good songs in here. You just gotta like hold your mouse pointer over one and then hear it. Click that one. So I'm gonna double click it. If you like it, you double click it. And then you can go back to your code right there, code. And then you can add your, your song. So teachers, if you could pause now and give your students time to go and find a good song or two and then put it in here and you're going to like the next little part. So we're going to pause now and I'll be waiting right here for you when you're ready to go to the next part. Okay, I hope you've got some good music. Teachers, I apologize for all the noise, but it's the fun part of this, this activity today. Hey, now that we've done this piece of code, look, this code here, this probably took me 50 minutes to code just perfectly. But look what I'm going to do now. I'm going to put my mouse pointer at the top right here in the orange part. See that right up there? I'm going to put two fingers on the touchpad or if I'm using a mouse, right click the mouse and I'm going to duplicate this code and drag it over here. Now look, now I've got the same exact code right beside it and I'm just going to make a couple of quick changes. I'm going to make this letter B. I'm going to make this a different song that I chose while you were working like techno. Then I'm going to choose two different moves, maybe C, and D. Sure, let's see how that looks. Okay, so now let's see how this looks. Ready? Green flag. Here's letter A. Here's letter B. That's a good move. Fantastic. Look. Hey, again, I said uh, earlier this took me 15 minutes to code. Then I duplicated and this took me 15 seconds to code. Because all I had to do was change it to letter B, change the song, change the two different dance moves. So now I've got letter A and letter B moves. Now look what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the mouse pointer up here again. I'm going to two fingers on the touchpad and duplicate this code and drag it over here. Perfect. Whoops. And now I'm going to make this one letter C. And I'm going to put a different song in there. Maybe dance energetic. Great. I'm going to choose two different dance moves, maybe E and F. I'll try those two moves. And now look, I've got three moves, A, B, and C. Let's see how they look. Ready? Here's A. Here's B. And here's C. Okay, so hey, just by duplicating, I can make a, a, another set of code dance moves really quickly. So I've got three moves, A, B, and C. Your job is to get as many as you can. At least let's go for five, A, B, C, D, and E. And again, all you have to do is put your mouse pointer at the top and duplicate it, and then make a few quick changes. So teachers, if you want to pause now, Students are going to be duplicating their dance move code and getting a whole bunch of new moves and new songs. So when you're ready to move on to the next parts, I'll be here waiting for you. All right, so next trick. I think you're going to like this one. Now I'm going to put my mouse pointer on champ down here, and I'm going to put two fingers in the touchpad, or if I'm using a mouse, right click and duplicate champ. So now I've got two champs. And the second champ right here, I'm just going to make him a little bit smaller than the first one. Remember the first one is 60? I'm going to make this guy 50%. And I'm just going to move him back a little bit right over there. So it looks like he's standing behind him a bit. Now I'm going to duplicate this champ again and move him a little bit behind him right there. Perfect. So now it looks like I've got a whole dance troupe. So when I hit the letter A... So that's cool. So here's the dance troupe down here in his original champ. I'm just going to click on the first champ, this guy right in the middle. 
And I'm going to have him give some instructions so people know how to play, because otherwise they might not know what to do. So look, green flag. When the green flag is clicked, I'm going to have Champ explain the game. That's the main Champ, the main guy right in the middle. He's going to do some talking. So he's going to say something like this. Um, Welcome to Dance Party. And he'll say that for, let's say, four seconds or so. Perfect. And then he's going to say one other thing so we know how to play. He's going to say, use the letters A, B, and C for some cool dance moves. He's going to say that for a little bit longer because that's, that's a lot more talking. So maybe five seconds. So green flag. Let's see if he, he does the talking properly. Welcome to dance party. Use the letters A, B, and C for some cool dance moves. Wonderful. So that's perfect. So now, students, your job, you can um, duplicate Champ down below, shrink them a little bit, and put them behind so they look like a dance party. I got two. You might want to add some more. And then have the original Champ, the first Champ, say something like, welcome to dance party, and use letters A, B, and C so people know how to play the game. And then I have one last trick for you. So teachers, if you want to pause here and when the students are ready, I got one last thing for everyone. So uh, I'll be waiting right here. Okay, last couple tricks if you have time and if you want to jazz it up a little bit more. Hey, look, I'm going to go to the stage. I don't think we've ever coded for the stage, but we can. I'm going to click on a stage right there. That's the background, right? The party background. We have no code here. Look what I'm going to do. When the green flag is clicked, I'm going to have the background change its color. Watch how I do that. It's, it's kind of neat. I'm going to go to the looks, change color effect. We've used that before. And then I'm going to have it change color effect forever. So look, when I hit the green flag, the backdrop is going to change its color over and over again forever. Look, green flag. Isn't that cool? So you can do that. You can have your backdrop change the color effect. So that's one thing you can do. And we can do one last thing if you like. And I'm going to go back to uh, Champ right there. Um, and then I'm going to get the paintbrush. So I'm going to get the paintbrush under Sprite. So I'm going to go to Sprites and click Paintbrush. And then I'm going to choose a nice color, maybe a nice bright red. And I'm going to click T for text. And I'm going to write Dance Party! Exclamation mark. Perfect. Click. Maybe I'll make that a little bit bigger. See how small it is? It's not very big. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Perfect. Oh, okay, a little bit bigger. Perfect. I'm going to grab Dance Party, and I'm going to put it right there. And so let's see how that looks. Going to go back to code, and we'll press the green flag. There. You can also have the word Dance Party do something neat. I, I, I've seen people do this. I like this one too. Uh, this is the last thing, teachers. Green flag. Looks. Under the looks, I want the word dance party there. I want it to show. And I want it to show for, for a little while. I'm going to go to control. Wait, uh, maybe 0 0.4 seconds. So it's going to show itself for 0 0.4 seconds. Then the word dance party is going to hide. And I'm going to make it hide for 0 0.1 seconds. So wait, 0 0.1. And then I'm going to put a forever around the whole thing. So watch, the words dance party will show and hide, show and hide. Green flag, go. See how it's kind of flashing? See it's showing for 0 0.4 seconds and then it hides for 0 0.1 seconds. So there's that and then there's the background code right there. So students, I hope you enjoyed dance party. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. We're going to be creating a driving game. I think you're going to like that one too. So uh, anyways, have a good rest of your day and I will see you next time.